Hello everyone, it's Cherie. Welcome to my channel. I am going to be working on day seven. Day seven is going to be in two parts, maybe three, only because I kind of split it up between what I did on day seven, what my husband did on day seven, and then what the littlest, my youngest daughter, what she did on day seven, just because there was a lot going on for all of us, but we were just in doing different things. So, um, Day seven, I went to one of my best friend's houses with my son. Her daughter, who's in dance, was going to be in their Christmas parade. Now, um, I'm just showing you there my, what I'm using is my day seven. I've been using dic dictionary numbers from children's dictionaries as uh, my days. So... So yeah, so my son and I headed out of town and we stayed the night at one of my girlfriend's house. We've been friends for um, quite a while, 20 something years, and her daughter was in the parade. So I wanted to go down there and see her in the parade. So I, I'm i using a, um, a printable linen there and that one is actually from um, Little Bendy on um, YouTube. So I will link her shop below. And then to the right of that, that card there, that little um, rocking horse card, my youngest daughter, she um, she wanted to make me a Christmas card. So, so that's that. And then um, I have my, I've been using these vintage diary pages for December in my December daily. It has two days on it, uh, December 7th and December 8th. And um, so that is over to to the right there but I've been using that every single session and um, and then these are just some die cuts that I had to the left of me so I was just kind of fiddling through trying to figure out if I wanted to use any and um, I think it's it's a it's a really old die cut set let me see I think I have the paper here it's from pebbles oh it's not as old as I thought it was it's from 2016 so I guess it's their die cut, Christmas die cut set from 2016. So, um, yeah, so my son and I headed down there and, um, it was also one of our friend's, um, birthday. Well, her birthday is on the 10th, but they kind of celebrated it that weekend. So I got to see her and, um, cause they're neighbors, they live on the same street together and so I just picked out that little floral one there. Now the paper that I'm covering up kind of kind of hurt my heart a little bit because I love that paper so much and I cover the majority of it up but you know what it is what it is. It's fine and then I decided to use that little reindeer and I just stuck a label underneath him and add a little bit more washi down there. And as far as the stocking goes, I wasn't sure if I was gonna use the stocking above the rocking horse. And I was kind of thinking, do I wanna just tape this rocking horse down or do I wanna make a pocket out of it? I wasn't, I wasn't really sure. I knew I was gonna do something, but I wasn't quite sure. So I do have a few pictures. And I'll have a lot of pictures for, um, For the next, um, for my daughter's day seven, and I think it's my husband's day seven, or maybe it's day eight, I'm not quite sure which, but either way, I got a lot of photos that I gotta get in this thing coming up, so. So on the back of that diary page, I just went ahead and glued down a linen because I was thinking I could um, put a picture on it, or maybe journal on it, or um, something. And I went ahead and just used my tiny attacher to staple it down just in case. Because sometimes you just never know with my tape gun. Sometimes it works really good and other times it can be disappointing. So these are just a couple of pictures um, of the kids at the parade. And then that is a photo of my friend's daughter in the parade. So it was, you know, it's hard to take pictures when they're walking. So I just did the best I could and um, I'm okay with it. I like it. 
and it was dark so I went ahead and did it in black and white. Now I have this um, these three surface areas so it's a lot of space that I've got to fill up so I decided to go ahead and look through this book that I've been using throughout my December daily. I've been using the illustrations from it to see if I could fill it up or use one of them to, to lay down. So I just pulled out a few that I thought I might like. And um, and I really like that one a lot. And then I had printed these the other day and they're just some digital images from my shop, which I will leave a link below. The one on the left says daily expenses, I think for December. And then the one on the right is just a telegram. So I went with this one and I decided to go ahead and glue down my telegram first and not think about it, just get it done. Because I know that I've, you know, I got a lot, I gotta get done in this thing, I'm super far behind. So, which, you know, that's okay. I've been, in, I've been super busy lately, so it is what it is. And then I also stuck some washi tape on the top, which you'll be able to see when I open it back up. Yeah, and I decided to go ahead and just go all the way around it with the washi. And it's a little crooked. I can see that now, but uh, it is what it is. So yeah, so I have that little printable, and I wasn't I wasn't 100% sure about it. I liked it, but um, I kept which I, I might have cut that part out, but I kept taking it off and trying other things there, taking it off and trying something else. But I ended up just using it. And then I put the picture of my son on that illust illustration page there. And then one of the um, parade pictures from the kids. So there was a bunch of kids that went with us to the parade to watch Valera do her dance, which was so cute. And there she is there. And I wanted to go ahead and back it just because I felt like it needed a little bit of color because the picture was black and white. So I just added a little um, piece of that paper there was cardstock. It was glittered cardstock. And I like the window, um, the illustration of the window. I don't know, it just because. I think because we were out of town and um, we were at her house and I liked the fact that it was like of a house, a view from a window. Oh, see, I did loop it in. Yeah, I just fiddled around with a bunch of different things like, I really like it, but I'm not quite sure if there's something else that might work a little bit better, but I ended up just keeping it. And then that little strip there, that's from Molly's Mantle. That was just like I... Um, sugar what are they called um printable they're they're like tr they're trims printable trims so um i i had already had that printed and i liked that it had the black in it because there is kind of a you know little pops of black here and there so um so i stuck that down and then i have this sheet of labels they're they're pretty old they're for like your computer to print out you know, you type something up and stick it on the label and then your computer. Anyways, I got it at a thrift store. Um, and I'm just using them as regular labels. And then that thing there was just a little washi strip. I think it says twinkle, sparkle, something. I'm not, I can't see it from here. But you get the gist. And I didn't want to just stay it on there. I wanted to have another layer there as well. So I just grabbed some thin washi and stuck it down on the photo. And then that one's a date and it's from a, a washi strip too that has different little ticket sayings on it like to, from, date, document, just random little things. And then I wanted to put something on the side of that paper but um I guess I decided to go down this photo first before I tackle that little assignment. 
There we go. So I picked something out. What did I, what is it? Oh yeah, cute little penguin. And he was black, so he kind of added to the, the little black theme I got going on. And he's very cute. So yeah, my daughter wanted to make me a Christmas card and she asked me, how do I spell I love you? And I said, just do a I heart you. And then she said, well, how do you spell you? And I said, Y-O-U. And she did U-Y-O. <laughs> so I went ahead and um, went through my stamps and I pulled out, this is one of my favorite stamps. I love the quote on it. And I was sitting there tapping my ink because I was like, I was kind of thinking about embossing it on there. But I was like, do I really want to break out my embossing powders and then plug up my heat gun? And, and I was like, no, I don't want to do that. So I just stamped it on there. And that ink pad is getting dry, so I really need to get a new one. But it works. It's fine. And then I did my journaling on my little... For my days, my diary days. And take that. And I like that. I like how it looked. I think it worked out pretty good. And then I've got a lot of journaling to do here because I'm kind of writing a little bit about um, what I did and then also what was going on with my daughter and my um, my husband. So just a lot of writing. And I guess I gotta I gotta kinda I gotta have it crooked whenever I'm writing. I don't know. It's the only way I can write straight, I guess. I've always done that, just turned it all cockeyed. So yeah, so a lot of journaling. And then, um, I, yeah, I just grabbed that book just to give me a hard surface so I could finish my train of thought on this side of paper here. And my lighting kept changing. I don't know if it was because my phone was doing it on its own or the sun was going in and out, but it's weird. It's got like a bright tint and then a yellowy tint. I don't know. So anyway, so that is day seven, part one. And day seven, part two will hopefully be up soon enough. I hope y'all liked it and y'all have a blessed day.